Uh, you now just opened your latest restaurant. Yes. Tell me about this restaurant, where it's located. Yes. Um, the restaurant that we have is called Peli Peli, and we wanted to create a South African influence with a little bit of fusion uh, and not really be here for South Africans because we live in America. So how do we get the American palate to understand South African culture? Right. And so that was the most important thing for me to establish. So how do we do that? How do we infuse it? And how do we use the products of South Africa, bring them to America and infuse them with the American palate? So we, we spent countless, countless months, weeks, days, uh, years. We spent two years doing this uh, before we actually came up with the menu. And then everyone said, wow, you've got something really great here. That's when I, went, I met my partner, Michael and Thomas. Um, I had several pizzerias at the time that I was operating. And uh, through one of my uh, unfortunate uh, divorces, um, yeah, I don't have 57 ex-wives, by the way. <laughs> Thank goodness, <laughs> they, right? Yeah, <laughs> they, they have all the other ones now, but <laughs> there's only three of them. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I know, but you know. That's so, why he so has 58 restaurants. That's right. You got to keep going. <laughs> yes, and, and my mother warned me. She said, you're going to be just like your Uncle Louis. Because <laughs> he had three restaurants. I said, I don't want to work for him. No. <laughs> but there's a secret, you see. And so my mom gave me the secret. It's all about food and that if you put the right uh, um, herbs and spices, it becomes very addicting. And so she gave me this one spice that my Uncle Louis would put in everybody's food. And that's why he was so successful. Because people would come in keep coming back and so she said you're going to be like your uncle Louis so you're going to get divorced because uh, the restaurant business is that's the way it is because your, your your wives will always think that there's another mistress in your life and it's your restaurant because you yeah. you just there's nothing you can do about it if you're serving food you're only as good as your last meal so, you know, you, you have to constantly be there. You have to make sure that uh, the operation runs right. The food is always correct. It's got to be hot. It's got to be fresh. And there's so many intricate things that people don't know about the restaurant industry. But so anyway, um, I fell in love with cooking. So um, that's just something that, you know, uh, people were saying, yeah, your food's so great and your flavors are amazing. And, you know, and, and, and one has to be careful with this because a lot of the times, you know, someone will say, oh, you should open up a restaurant because your food is good, right? Yeah. But you have no idea how to run a restaurant. So you go open a restaurant because your family tells you to, and it fails. And so we in the restaurant industry have probably the highest rate of failure right. in any kind of business. And it's because people don't know how to run it. They have a passion to do it, but they, they need to have people that can help them get there. And so I, I'm going to write a book. I, I wrote a book. It's called From a Jew to the Stew. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I have a Jewish background, but <laughs> so <laughs> South African Jew. Yes, all the way from South Africa. Yeah. And now we're in Texas, right? We are. <laughs> it's funny. People don't know much, you know. I mean, I, I'm going to be po politically incorrect, but uh, if that's okay. Um, but uh, you know, people ask me, so uh, you're from South Africa, and I say yes, and they say, well, how come you're not black? Oh. And I said, well, that's, that's, I, I, I've been wondering all my life because my mom and dad are. And it's like, whoa, that's crazy. I, I think they switched me at birth and I never, I never really got put back in place. So, and, and so I grew up in South Africa speaking Corsa because mom and dad were black, you know. And so, yeah, they're from the Corsa tribe. So people would ask me, well, how do, what does that sound like? And I said, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak some Corsa. I'm going to say, hello, how are, you? how are you? It's nice to meet you. And it sounds like this. I hate a guy, I'm getting a well, a guy. Wow. It sounds funny, but I tell people no, because if you have a stutter, it's not funny at all. <laughs> <laughs>